mentioned the 04 season, 1,400 yards, 16 touchdowns. Hussein, that's ridiculous. 16 <laughs> touchdowns 16 in a single thugs. season. Was that just something, again, that you, know, you, you, and, you and Jake were just kind of dialed in? Yeah, you know, I think I became Jake's safety blanket. And if you remember, Steve Smith got hurt um, the first game against Green Bay in 2004. And so we were really real in trying to find out, you know, how to shift our offense around. Um, and, and somewhere around midway through the season, we, it, it started to click. Yeah. And it really started yeah. to click. And Jake started, and I started feeling Jake, and it, we really got on the roll. All right, let's talk 2003, Super Bowl 38. What a memorable season. And really yeah. for this organization until this past year, it was a year like none other. What do you remember from that season? There were so many kind of ups and downs, the, the cardiac cats, you know, all the, you know, the, the late game wins and then, you know, losing to Philly and then having to go to Philly, you know, to play in the NFC Championship game. What do you remember about that year? Well, I'll tell you, the, the first thing I remember that if, if, you know, going to recall anything is coming back against Jacksonville, you know, and, you know, I scored a touchdown, Steve scored a touchdown, and then, of course, Ricky Pro scored the game-winning touchdown, but it really sent us in the right direction, and, and we started to, you know, get this mold of ourselves. We started to become the Cardiac Cats. The other big thing that I remember that season is going through adversity. You know, it wasn't just a picture-perfect season. And I remember after the Atlanta game, um, you know, I was supposed to run, run one route. Um, I broke it off because of a conversion that I thought I had. J Jake thought I was going to run, you know, a different route. Anyways, he, he, he winds up throwing an interception that went pick six and we lost against Atlanta, a game we clearly could have won. And the team was in somewhat of a turmoil. We were quiet in the meeting room. Um, and I was upset because I thought Coach Fox called me out in the press, and he said, I'd never call one of my players out in the press. Yeah. And it was just a bunch of stuff going on. And uh, Dan Henney, an offensive coordinator, comes into the meeting room, and he tells this story. And is this the donkey story? This is the donkey story, right? <laughs> and it just loosened everything up, and from there we just started to go on a roll. Yeah. <clears throat> you have to take – our word for the donkey story. We just we don't have, we don't have time to get into it. Maybe in another show we can tell stories. The moral of the story is this: when you start listening to everyone else out there, that's when you lose your donkey. You know what? Yes. <laughs> like I said, that's why we're not going to tell that story. Hey, real quickly. Um, so after the 04 season, your best is as a pro. You make the decision to go to Chicago. You're there for three years, and the fans were sorry to see you go. In retrospect, because after that three years in Chicago, you ended up back here in Carolina to finish your pro career out. Did you ever have a time where you, you kind of regretted making that decision? Well, you know, I had and, to. And maybe that's not it, a fair question. Yeah, no, but it, it's a fair question. You know, I just I answer it like this, though, that I had to play the cards that were dealt to me. I don't think staying in Carolina was one of the options because of, you know, some of the decisions that were made here um, with, you know, the organization. And so. Uh, I always wanted to stay. Yeah. I always wanted to stay. I, and, I, and in hindsight, I truly believe that we could have probably had a couple of championships if had I stayed, maybe one or two. I mean, and we went to the NFC Championship game, and I wasn't a part of that team. I was in Chicago. And, and I went to Chicago and helped that team uh, go to the Super Bowl. Right. So I, it was, I was in the prime years of my career there. Um, I do wish I uh, had the opportunity to stay and play yeah. my whole career here. Awesome. Absolutely. Well, we talked about the Super Bowl, and I'm going to throw a little curveball upstairs. Uh, as we go to commercial break, uh, the Super Bowl, one of the fun parts about the Super Bowl is media day. Yeah. And we found <laughs> out very early in your career that the cameras, being in front the lights, didn't bother you at all. As a matter of fact, <laughs> you were just as good in front of the cameras as you were when you were on the football field. So I'll set up real quick, and, and we'll watch this as we go to commercial break. Media day of oh. Super Bowl 30, oh, wow. we handed you a camera yeah. and let you cover media day, and we covered you covering media day. It was a lot of fun, so enjoy this. Here it is. Bam. Welcome to Reliance Stadium. <laughs> Hey, uh, hey, Jink, don't drink all that milk, man. You're going to pop right up out of that. Uh-oh. Y'all stay back. There he is. Right, right. Hey, Coach. Hey, good. How's it going, buddy? How you doing, All right, good, good. Ready to roll. Coach Fox guy, he's a great guy. All right, it's media day here. I'm in podium six. Just to let you guys know that this is going to get crazy in a, in a matter of seconds. So here they come. 
Comes the hurt. Yeah, Houston's a great place to do a lot of eating. What are some of the foods you've eaten? Is it a different challenge they face with you guys and your own? Financial versatility. Around, what do you think of all this? Well, what's he done best as far as? Certainly nobody's right? flying under the radar. Can I get you to do this for a class project? Oh, what is this? <laughs> That's Flatman. <laughs> Flatman. Flatman. Okay. All right, well, I got to get you too. So we're at the same time. See, this is the NFC South coming right. to rain. Heavy uh -huh. all over two Super Bowls in a row. Much love to you, my brother, and please defend the title. Bring it home to the South so I know I can be facing the champions next year, at least twice. <laughs> As you did, and whooped me twice. <laughs> and, and it was a pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> Great guy, right there. Man, I'm, I'm making a little documentary and actually. Uh, I'm gonna do a little, little show, a little, have a little segment on the show back home. And one more thing, my kids love Nickelodeon. I got a seven and six year old, so you say hi to my kids. Say hi to Jordan and Chase and okay. Moose. Hi, Jordan. Hey, Chase. All right, all right. Thanks a lot. This is how we, you know, kind of do our thing. You don't know who's looking at you. Is it here? Are we over here? Are we over there? Are we over here? Are we over there? Are we over here? Hey, you never know. Uh, just stay tuned. You can watch more exclusive Panthers TV programming on Time Warner Cable Sports Channel. Check out Facebook, TWC Sports Channel, NCSC.